play your character perfectly. Uh, sorry, unlearn. 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 Ako, I had to unlearn my, the totality of myself. Kasi hindi ako yung, hindi ako yung, uh, uh, you know, portray ko. It is uh, someone that is way far different from who I am as a person. And uh, that's basically just it. I, 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 I had to unlearn the totality of myself. My, 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 yes, that's it. Thank you, Andre. Thank you, kasi halos parehas po talaga kami. Um, ayaw, ayaw mag-ibang, pero parehas kami mabuti anak. Alam yung ginagawa namin lahat para sa family namin. Actually, parehas kami na sumali sa contest para matulungan yung pamilya namin. Ako sumali ako sa contest at the age of seven para magpagaling yung kuya ko. And after ito, kinuntinyo ko lang. Lagi lang ako for the love. Wala mo kailangan di ang name from Betty. Meron akong dapat ma-learn from Betty, which is forgiveness. At kung maabot kayo sa episode 7 and episode 8, malalaman nyo kung bakit kailangan mo na na ang forgiveness. Kaya tawag mo pa yung mati-ibig si Aka ng mga tayo po. Thank you. Thank you so much. Our next special will come from the lifestyle and entertainment editor. Um, definitely the standard other than Nikki Wong. Um, first of all, congratulations to the entire cast. It's a landmark series. So my question is for today. I, I would like to piggyback back on the question of uh, the, the previous reporter. Um, but I wanted to know, uh, it was actually for if it's an opportunity time to have series. My question is, why only now? And uh, bakit tayo center sa, sa, sa female character to be included in this kind of uh, uh, series? Why only now? Actually, lagi ko rin yung tinatawang kapag gumagawa ko ng mga series or pelikula centering on the struggles of the community. Kasi parang kung isipin, parang nung bago ako, wala akong napanood na ganitong mga palabas. And kung meron akong napanood na may mga klaseng palabas, hindi siguro ako madudura o hindi ako mag... Mas maging matapang ako habang lumalap. Pero wala akong napanood na ganitong klaseng palabas. So para kapag tinatanong ko yung sarili ko or yung universe na parang bakit ngayon lang nagkakaroon ng ganito palabas. Ang nakukuha ko sa bag parang at least meron na. Na hindi man ako bilang bata nakaranas ng ganitong klase mga palabas. At least yung mga bata ngayon, yung mga queer kids na mga kapalawag nilo, meron na silang, may kita na nila yung sarili nila on screen, sa media, at sa mainstream. Kasi like for example, yung itong pandemic, yung mga BL series na lumalabas na sa YouTube lang, ganyan, na parang hindi talaga siya accessible sa lahat. Pero to have this kind of show na, na nasa mainstream na, I think yun yung siguro masaya, doon ako nagiging masaya siguro as a creator, as a filmmaker na mas magkakaroon na ng um, Uh, parang ma mara-represent na ng tama yung community sa mainstream media. And yung second question po kung yung sa uh, female character. Actually, ano siya, uh, when, I, when this project was pitched to, una ko siyang, yun yung una kong talong sa sarili ko. Parang, bakit kailangan babae yung nasa uh, forefront ng story? And I think nasasagot ko siya kapag Pero yung struggles kasi ng community, ng LGBT community at ng mga babae, hindi lang dito sa Pilipinas, hindi sa buong mundo, hindi pa rin sila nakakaranas ng same rights, same treatment na nakukuha ng mga straight at mga cis at mga straight and cis men. And I think yung struggles ng community and, and women are actually grounded na at the same ground actually yung yung ano yung nako ang discrimination yung treatment so i think um magandang mali pakita din na may nabasa just na ayun na isa yung ipinaglalaban at gusto mong makuha from from this and for my last question like us john i Uh, just one question. How does it feel playing a character which is uh, so close to home? It feels so good. Because, like I said, growing up, there are people like us, so, trans people, lesbians, gays. 
wala yung pinapagod na, ah, ito, um, pwede, ito pala, ganito pala, ito pala yung experiences nila, ganyan. And, syempre, kakapake, di ba? Pero, since this one is super close to home din, you know, it's like, ang daling, ang daling maging tatay yung life. Kasi, ako siya ba daughter? Alam niya, kung baga yung mga pinagdadaanan niya, ganun din kami ng anak namin, ni Lisa. So, ang dali. And it feels so good kasi finally, ay, ay, nagkaroon ako ng role na tinitignan ako as a trans man. Hindi lesbian, hindi babae. Alam mo yun. So, happy ako. Happy ako. And, um, on a personal note, super happy ako to have shared the dressing room with Ice and Romney Sarmenta na, for me, Kos talaga na pag-uwi ko na ka journal, I was learning from somebody who was starting, for two people, isa four years old, pinahahanga tayo bilang tipping, isa three years old, napakano ko araw-araw sa TV, and I was learning a lot. Uh, I had come from a long period of stage acting, so a lot of things I had unlearned also for the camera, and they made it so easy. The show, the set was full of love. I feel like I am really blessed to be part of a team telling this story. Kasi gusto naman natin ma mabigay. Ang ganda-ganda rin ang paggamit ng term na love letter. It's nice kung televiewer ka to know that you are seen, that somebody knows your heart, that somebody knows your story, and somebody knows how you feel. And it's... Um, it's... Um, um, and also a nice little gift to my husband who's there sitting and who's, uh, who's, who, who hindi lahat ng shows ko ganun ka close to home na pwede na gusto ko ko rin I watch this na nung mo I'm very very happy that nakakakita siya ng story na to where love was found by everyone from the strangest places because that's what happened to us 18 years ago Visibility is very important. So seeing trans man, trans woman, drag artists, non-binary people, queer people in the show means so much to the LGBTQIA plus community, especially to the queer kids who are watching at home. At least na kita nila yung sarili nila. Because when I was growing up, I've already um, written about this. That I haven't uh, I haven't found my role model. I wala not see transgender on the mainstream media when I was growing up, or if there's any, it's not something aspirational to me. So when I see people um, playing roles of the LGBTQIA plus community on the mainstream media, then I feel like there are people who are watching this. And when they watch this, they will feel that they are part of our society, and that is very important. And uh, I'm true to that there are these drag queens na pinapakita naman yung aspeto, yung buhay ng mga drag artists. Diba? Kailangan masilip natin yun kahit pa paano maikwento natin ang buong buo sa likunan para maintindihan nila ano ba ang pagiging isang drag artist? Ano ba ang buhay ng mga draga? So here comes uh, drag you and me. Kahit, yun nga, bakit nga ngayon lang? But at least meron na, no? Yun ang importante lang. So, I'm so happy to be part of this. Kahit napakahirap ng role ko, ang binabuhos sa <laughs> This is not the first and the last. That is the goal. When you open the door, dapat mas marami opportunities na pumasok. I was so happy that I was performing not just with the country's newest drag superstars, that's the fresh Venus, kundi pati lahat ng mga nauna sa journey, ang ating golden case. Tama! Kasali pa ang isang original paper dance. Kasi yung kabutak tayo, kami mga nagpa-perform ng drag is also stand on the shoulders of Fanny Serrano, James Cooper, Bagot Villanueva, Bernardo Bernardo, Sandy Garcia, you know, who have come before us in a broken drum. Love letter nyo sa kanila mga tayo. Thank you. Ang tama, Sir John, ang pinagkita-kita yung chemistry ninyo. On screen. Ang ganda nun tayo na aming screen. With everyone. Ang sarap mo, makamaramdaman na sa kita ka ng dalawang generations. Pero, with the baguettes, relate din naman ako. Kasi tanda ko rin naman sila eh. Pag inaat mo yung, pag inaat mo yung mga edad nila, yun eh. Ako naman po, for me, 
very happy and blessed din kasi um, ako um, ang entry point ko sa entertainment dito si Screw Drag Race and then dahil ako panood ako ng mga drag performances, drag competition tulad ng drag race, na-inspire ako to join and now to be that person to inspire more young queer artists it's a different feeling so parang super duper blessed ako to be doing that part now for the future generation. So, very thankful ako na direct kasi kasama ko ba yung mga best friends ko si Precious Molly Nicole and Venus Nilak. So, very exciting itong project ito for all of us. And kay Khaled Karen, thank you for paving the way. Kahit ikaw ang tao na ako ng trans woman na pinanakala. So, Mandro Manila Bell has been deserving. Congratulations. Sana nga hindi lang ako. Mas maraming pagsumunod sa akin. Kasi sayang naman yung Pagkakataon. And I hope it's, uh, you know, it's a good precedent for other uh, work giving bodies, uh, Metro Manila Film Festival, na, you know, you have to put these people in the category that they identify with. That is very important. Gender recognition is an utmost importance. Exactly. Thank you for raising the flag. Our next question will come from the former entertainment editor. Anong masasabi mo sa video ng ito? Tara, pag-usapan natin yan sa comment section. And also subscribe and click the notification bell para maging updated sa mga showbiz happenings.